the event structure we will see what is the meaning of event okay yeah. we will see what is the meaning of event so let's see in the polling methodology in this kind of the polling methodology you know very well one concepts in this kind of the polling methodology whenever you will press the run button so your loop will start execution and your loop will start performing here the master thing is this while loop okay the master thing is the, is this your while loop okay but in the in the event structure your event will be the master thing why master things because if you will not perform any kind of action so your program will wait for the your actions let's see how we can control here i am taking one program one event structure case so it is a event structures in this event structure okay in this event structure this is a event structure you can take this event structure from this platform and you can drag it so now it is an event structure first understand then i will give you one to two minute in this event structure right click here this is your event selector so, okay select label and it is your okay notifiers and it is your timeout you can say it is a filter kind of things okay and it is event structure event structure is just like a case structure event structure is just like a case structure okay it has so many uh, cases like uh, event structure you can create n number of different different cases dif uh, different different structures based of your actions so here i am going to add one action and that will be the stop action that will be a stop action here okay stop action now i am taking one for loop while loop i will place the while loop and i will run here i will right click and create indicators now here i i want to see the increment in the previous program you can see i was using the wait functions to control the execution speed but here i am not using any wait functions to control loop execution speed okay but here i am using stop button stop button is connected here and numeric uh, and this numeric indicator this numeric indicator will display the number of loop iteration means loop count here i am going to run the button run button now you can see this numeric is not generating any value this numeric is not generating any value why because there is not any kind of event till occurred okay when any kind of event or when any kind of user interaction will come out will occur so at that time this will count this numeric will improve now you can see okay now you can see okay this loop is not working here this loop is not master event structure is master event structure will control the execution of this loop i can if i will press the stop button so also i cannot stop the my loop when i will press the stop button so i cannot stop the loop why because this my stop function is not registered in the event because my stop function is not registered in the event so how can i register my stop function in the event okay how can i create a stop event so for the stop event i will right click here and i will come in here when i will right click in the border so i will get this shortcut menu so there one option you will get in the third class the first class this one second third class second one you will get one option that option is the add event case so when i will click the add event case so edit event dialog box will open in this edit event dialog box the event case is here the one number is one zero is timeout and one this one is second so event one second event is event one here the event is specifier and this event specifier is empty in this event specifier you can see event source here and event so how can i specify one event okay so for the specify that event i need to select that particular source okay which is responsible uh, responsible which will be responsible for the action 
So here in the event source, I will click this stop button and this stop button is the responsible for the my event. The, the, the stop button will be responsible for my event. So it is stop button and it is change value. It is change value. Okay. Now I will hit the OK button. So now you can see the stop button is here and change value is here. There's so many other events are present key down. Okay. Key repeat key up mouse. Okay, down mouse enter mouse leave and so other things are here and drag options are also but here I am using the shortcut menu concept the start sorry, value change then after that I will hit the ok button so now you can see the another the second number event is occurred here okay now I will put this stop button inside here anywhere and I will take one stop true constant and I will connect that true constant will now look at here here I am going to run okay just a second here I am going to increase uh, insert one increment that increment will okay now run okay loop has been loop has loop has run loop has run once but it's waiting for the any kind of the action loop is has run once but this platform is waiting for any kind of the actions when i will press the stop button okay then program will stop look at here okay loop is running right now loop is running right now when i will press the stop button so it will generate stop and program will stop till I will not press any till I will not press any action it will wait for the things whenever I will press the stop button so it will generate that stop button okay it's so there is look at here just a second I am using one stop button here and I am creating this one so now let's see what will happen just a second now you can see this loop is running continuously this loop in executing continuously but this loop is waiting for the event why because the event is master here okay till any action or any user defined concept or any in user interaction will not occur it will not perform the action Now there is stop. Now here I am going to create one increment. Okay, event I N C R E N E N T increment. Sorry, increment increment event. And one more event I will take here that will be a clear event. clear so this one is the increment event and clear event now I need to create two more event so let's see here right click in the border up event then you will get this shortcut menu in the third class second one you will get the add event case here this is in event case you can see this is two that means the third number event and now here I am going to select the increment button as my increment button as my new event. Okay. So when I will click the increment button, so increment button is my event source. I will hit the OK button inside. Now here I will right click again. I will come into the third number add event case. I will click here and now I will click the clear for the event this is my fourth number event now you can see fourth number event clear that is a value change okay now our event has been specified 
now let's write program for the increment so here i am taking one increment button i will take one value zero i will replace with the shift register now here i will right click and i will click one i will create one indicator i can click create this indicator inside also i can create this indicator inside also but here i will create so this is for the increment okay and when i will click the clear when i will come into the clear so here i will insert zero so let's see how it will work or it will work or not run now it's increasing okay my loop has been run once so numeric is once when i will click the increment my loop has okay one it's generated one that means loop uh, this loop has okay run one more time look at here when i will press the increment so thus this loop will work and it will wait now it will wait for the another event when i will press the clear so it will go to the clear and it will clear my indicators but it will show my loop is running still my loop has run four time 0 1 2 3 4 that's why it's okay 1 2 3 4 four time my loop has been run now when i will press the stop button so it will stop it will go to the stop and it will press the it will stop the button now if here in timeout if i will give the 5 second 5 milli 5000 millisecond that means if i will not perform any action for the 5 second the event will stop execution automatically so here i am going to stop okay now run here i will increase 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 clear increase increase clear now you can see now 5 second i will not press anything so loop will terminate automatically event will terminate the loop automatically program has been stopped okay now you can see you can understand it is a basic concept about the event it is just a basic concept about the event and, and it is the only event there is not another way to design the event there is not another way to control the event yes there is some other way to control the event that is the event registered based dynamic event handler that you can work but in the basic of the concept it is the only the single way to control the event to create the event